The original Rat Pack was formed by Humphrey Bogart in 1955. Known as the Humbly Hills Rat Pack, it was a group of actors and singers who gathered for nights of drinking and fun. After Bogart's death in 1957, the Rat Pack, as we know it today, was born under the leadership of the pack master, Frank Sinatra. The new pack was comprised of Sinatra and his pals Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., comedian Joey Bishop, and actor Peter Lawford. Of all these men, Sinatra was closest to Dean Martin. Both men came from similar backgrounds and their shared Italian-American heritage bonded them. It was a friendship that lasted 60 years. Sinatra himself actually preferred the title The Summit for his group, but Rat Pack is the name that stuck. From the late 50s through the early 60s, the Rat Pack was booming. They hammed it up on stage and screen. They performed together with a relaxed yet intimate humor the likes of which is not often seen today. They performed on stage together, partied together, and made movies together. More than just the party, the Rat Pack had social influence. No one more than the pack master himself, Frank Sinatra. He embodied everything that I wanted to be. From the beautiful women to, to the voice, I mean, forget it. You know, the style. When he started to wear a little fedora of his, everybody wore it. And when he took it off, everybody took it off. You know, and if he said, this is the kind of clothes you wear, everybody wore it. I mean, there was a reason, because everybody wanted to be him. The Rat Pack era, uh, the early 1960s, Las Vegas, Nevada, was, it was a whole new swing era, not the swing era of the 1940s. It was a swing era of the 1960s, the atomic age, the man on the moon, we could do anything we want age. I mean, they were the epitome of cool, these guys. I mean, it's amazing how five guys took the nation by storm and they lived out our fantasies for us. I mean, we'll, we'll never see anything like the Rat Pack again. <laughs> 